Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for June 2nd to the 3rd of 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Gemini. What is going on with my Geminis in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What does Gemini need to know for June 2nd to the 3rd of 2022 for Gemini? All right, let's see. Let's see. We have Blackbird Omens. So I feel like you've literally seen a Blackbird or have a tattoo of Blackbird. Yeah, I feel like you have it on your left, like on your forearm, on your left arm, or you have it on a t-shirt. I feel like it's a tattoo. I feel like it's on body parts though. Like that's why I feel like it's a tattoo because I'm seeing the bird appear at like on someone's body. But you could be seeing it in life. You could be seeing it on a shirt or on some clothing. All right, we have frog, creativity, raven, determination. Yeah, so someone here could be named raven or have a raven tattooed on them, something like that. Overall energy is spider, deception. So obviously someone's lying to you, pretending to be one thing or pretending one thing and there's another. But what I'm getting here is you ask someone to tattoo a raven on you and they actually give you a different bird because these two are obviously different birds, right? Even though they're both black, it's like this one has a um, yellow around the eyes and the beak. So it's like you asked for one thing and someone gave you something that looks very similar, but it's not the same thing. So say you go and ask for a gold chain and they give you false gold or fool's gold or pyrite. Like this is a uh, fool's gold here. So they make, they make you pay like the real authentic price when it's not. Yeah, I feel like someone's trying to be creative give or give you a creative like duplicate of something so say for instance um someone asks you for a real document or they're trying to steal a real document from you and you switch it out with something that looks exactly like it but it's the false one the fake one but let's get into the tarot and see for gemini next 48 hours for gemini June 1st to the 2nd of 22. I mean, sorry. June 2nd to the 3rd of 2022 for Gemini. June 2nd to the 3rd of 2022 for Gemini. And just before I get the deck back together, we have the devil in justice. So yes, I feel like someone's either trying to steal a document from you. So you fake them out by, you know, making a copy or giving them the false version. But I also feel like someone's trying to fake you out. So let's get this and see, get the truth. We have strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. Three of Cups, Page of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. Overall energy is the King of Cups. I feel like someone's looking over. This is the person who's looking over it for you to sign this document. Then we have the Emperor here. So it could be a contract for some of you. But I feel like it has something to do with work. With term yeah, with determination, the Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. So you've been trying to work really hard to get um get a document released to you. Yeah, with the strength, three of pentacles, it's like you want to get something signed so a group can be together. Some it's like a partnership. Someone wants to get something signed ASAP so a group could be finally be together officially. Cause I feel like you guys were separated by some type of law or something. It's like you couldn't officially be together. But with the strength card and the three of cups, it's like, keep fighting for this. You are going to be able to celebrate very soon. And you're also going to be reunited with the page of wands and the eight of pentacles. Let's clarify. Clarify this for Gemini. Clarify this message for Gemini. Clarify this message for my beautiful Gemini. I, I want to know what's deceptive about it. I feel like someone finds the fine print in something. Maybe there was a document keeping you and this group apart. And then you have this King of Cups come in, this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And they look in the fine print and they find the loophole. They, they look at a document and find that it's false. So say someone, because I've seen this before, someone has faked a um, ultrasound. If you look very closely at the corners of it, you'll see that they got the um, ultrasound from somewhere else. It'll have copyright something in the corners. Uh, unfortunately, I've seen people do that, which is wild. So you have someone come in, an expert, this King of Cups comes in and looks over your documents and finds the loopholes and allows you to be with these people. 
or to be free. Clarifying the strength cards of five of wands. Yeah, it's a fight. Someone's trying to fight with you and you're having the strength to keep moving forward with, yeah, blackbird omens and the determination here. Yeah, fight this. Also, uh, queen of pentacles. You could be going up against a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Leo here as well. You may have Leo in your chart or this person could be a Leo Virgo cusp. Clarifying the three of cups is a wheel of fortune. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. It goes in your favor. The, this situation goes in your favor. You will be celebrating and reuniting with someone. So it's simply put, because it's going to be slightly different for everyone watching, but simply put, you're going against um, a team of people or a person that's trying to keep you and someone else apart or you and a group apart I'm trying to fight also, someone could secretly be trying to, like, claim that they're pregnant and they're really not. You have someone proving them wrong. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Someone tried to separate you from your family or your inheritance. But it goes to you. This um, this fortune goes to you. You are welcomed into the family. Someone tried to claim that you were an illegitimate child for some of you. Because I think I did a reading for you. Uh, I think I did, yeah, I think I just did a Gemini reading for you and it's called imposter syndrome or something like that. But I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but I got this really offensive phrase in the reading and it said bastard child. And so someone may be trying to treat you as that when you're not. Even if you are quote unquote illegitimate, you still have blood rights to this inheritance that goes to you. And someone tried to keep you away from that, but it ends up being released to you. And you end up celebrating with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles, clarifying the Three of Cups. So you end up celebrating your fortune, but someone tried to fight you so you couldn't get it. Someone tried to fight you for it. Someone tried to say you weren't a real relative or you, you weren't, um, it's not by marriage, but you're by blood stronger than that. So they end up looking stupid. Clarifying the Page of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. And a seven of wands protection. So you are protected. So I feel like um, this queen of pentacles does not speak for the rest of the group. The other family and relatives are happy to welcome you in. Happy to give you just as much love as they give other people. Happy as, to give you just as much um, inheritance and wealth and welcoming as they are to give everyone else in the family. But it's just this one person who wanted to fight you so that you wouldn't get it. They wanted it. And it turns out that they're the illegitimate child, which is hilarious. They've been fighting, thinking that, yeah, I'm I'm related by blood and marriage. I'm not a bastard child like so-and-so. But come to find out, they're not even related, period. Or they aren't deserving in some way, shape, or form. Because this person's trying to fight you for something that's yours. And then you end up celebrating and being welcomed into the family, giving the inheritance. For some of you, you inherit a business. You inherit a lot of wealth at Ten of Pentacles or just a family in general. And they treat you very fairly. And they protect you, but it's good that you stood up for yourself, Seven of Wands. But I feel like this family will stand up for you. Because it's like this Queen of Pentacles is bringing the Five of Wands, but you bring the Seven. So you end up winning. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles is the Four of Wands. Yeah, you worked hard for this business. It's yours, Ace of Pentacles. You worked hard to create a business for yourself. Um, to create, uh, what is it called? Whatever you want, an establishment, a business, a strong foundation with the four of wands. You worked hard to create that for yourself. And it's like someone wants to take that away from you. For others of you, you could be remarrying or going into business with someone else. And this person that you're not married to anymore or that you're not in business with anymore, they want to fight and take half of what you have because they don't want you to be joined together with someone else. They don't really want you to move on. They feel like they're being left behind. But you get the ace of pentacles anyway. You get the wealth, the marriage, the family, the inheritance, the business. A business could have been passed down to you. I feel like gifts were passed down to you. That's why you are so good at what you do at making this business, at being um, very lucrative with it because that it runs in your family. Overall energy is the two of wands. The deception here is what I'm from what I'm seeing. This person is trying to fight with you and claim that you're not a blood relative or you're you're illegitimate, but they are. And I feel like this is a wig they have on. So they even fake their hair color to pretend to belong to this family more than you do. Because I am getting that this is a dark wig and their hair isn't really that color. Because I get the other relatives have really bright, colorful hair, though. And I feel like your hair matches theirs. 
and this person like wears a wig to fit in, uh, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing and displaying here, her tea link is in the description box below as well. She does custom work, so let her know what type of color wire or crystal or style you want, and she will make that happen. Her link is in the description box below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.